Led Zeppelin is arguably the first heavy rock band and one of the greatest bands of all time, period. Nine huge albums, legendary live shows, and hundreds of millions of records sold around the world. There's really no overstating how influential and respected they were in the music communities, but there was something else to the story, too. Of course, the one place to start is the one of the most famous stories in rock and roll history, right up there with Ozzy and the Bat Head and even Van Halen and the Brown M&Ms. I would be referring to the Edgewater Inn and Fishing Off the Balcony, and it was July 1969. Cue the weird music. They were fishing off the balcony and someone caught a mud shark, which was hauled up and brought into the room. Now, you can imagine a bunch of rock and roll people with a mud shark in the room. The room was, of course, filled with groupies, and this was Led Zeppelin, so it wasn't long into the evening when adult acts were performed on a young woman who was tied down consensuously. From what they say, I would imagine that involved the shark. Now, no one openly admits to this happening, but no one has ever denied it either. I mean, something happened. Vanilla Fudge was on tour with Led Zeppelin, and some people say it was them that did it, but I think they were too vanilla for that kind of thing. Drum roll. Now, believe it or not, eight years later, they were back at the Edgewater Inn in Seattle, and they promised that they would be good and on their best behavior. Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Later that night, they ended up throwing five television sets out of the window. This seems like the trademark rock and roll star thing to do. It's said that at one point, Jimmy Page was chained to a toilet bowl to keep him from breaking things and racking up a large hotel bill. Of course, they did leave a groupie in there to keep him company, and I bet she made him focus on more pleasurable things, I imagine. It's said that Jimmy Page became completely obsessed with Aleister Crowley, and in fact he bought a house in the Scottish Highlands that was once owned by Crowley. It was thought that Crowley would perform rituals there, and it was even said that one of his rituals was disrupted and that it caused spiritual unrest. Eventually, Jimmy Page stopped going to the house as he talked about the bad vibes. Reportedly, Jimmy Page once said to Rolling Stone magazine that he didn't want to go on about himself or go into his personal beliefs on his involvement with magic. Hmm. Some more interesting small tidbits of stories from about Led Zeppelin and rock and roll history.